You did it ever so fast for me. Yes, I'll have all the wages about town. Right, let's do fireworks. I'll just do 20 fireworks so 20 people can get pinned and everyone follows. 20 people! Oh, thank you, Sally, for subscribing. Thank you, Sally. Right, we're ready. Chelsea Liar gets arrested. I've just been sleeping. I've just gone live as well. Hi. Sorry, we'll have to go meet him for All right, day. okay. You're going okay. to be arrested, Nian. For what? For malicious communications, yeah? Because between uh, February and July this year, you yeah. have sent a series of social media po posts which are grossly affected. I haven't sent nothing to in this. people of protected characteristics. To people of protected characteristics. Now everyone's getting confused thinking, see how that hasn't sent any posts and it's screen recorders or that. Whenever you're live, you're sending it. Basically, you're just sending the live stream from your phone. So it's not anybody who's put a video up. It's not a screen recorder. You know, it's her actions and the words that have left her mouth. So, you know, she's been publishing those live. No, this is Racing girl, thank you so much, racing girl. Can we pin racing girl as well? I think you're nearly me mad as well, racing girl, if you're not already. It's not me, it's a fake account. And uh, LGBT. Disabilities, race, and LGBT. Thank you. So, thank you. No, I don't have to say anything about the LGBTQ. Thank you, thank you. All right, no worries. You need to rely on court, and you just I'm gonna, yeah, I'm stopping it. Has the trolls phoned you up? Why are you here? I've just been sleeping. Darren, thank you so much, Darren. Can we pin Darren? Hello, Susan. Thank you so much, Darren, for the fireworks. And everyone follow her, I get to pin. Well. Hi. Sorry, we'll have to go meet Hey. You're going hey. to be arrested, Nian. For what? For malicious communications, yeah? Because between uh, February and July this year, you yeah. have sent a series of social media po posts which are grossly affected. I haven't sent nothing in this. Yeah, stop listening to the word sent as if she's sent them or anything like that. She's sending every time she's alive. Thank you so much, Babsy. Just like anything I'm saying now, I'm sending out, you know what I mean? So, it's like, like a post, but being live. So, it's her own actions, not a screen recorder. Thank you so much, Babsy. Can we pin Babsy, please? Anyone who gives a firework and everyone follow them. Thank you. All of protected characteristics. No, this is not me. It's a fake account. And uh, LGBTQ. So, no, I don't have to say anything about that. What she said about disabilities, can anyone remember? Because they say here disabilities, race, and LGBTQ. So those three things in particular. Oh yeah, the Jewish layers as well. <clears throat> Thank you so much, my gorgeous. Hello, Kiki North. Hello, beautiful. Thank you, gorgeous. His sister's kids. Oh yeah, and maybe the post where she says to Kay before it gets a heartbeat and all that has come round to bite her in the backside, because they that might they might think that's like a newer post, you know, because it only it come back around a few weeks ago. Do you remember? Thank you, Nanny Pepper. Thank you so much. Can we pin Nanny Pepper? Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, Emma. Oh my God, I meant to say to you all. Did anybody hear puke the judge the other the other day on his live? And he said about uh, Canadian Angie knowing people's addresses. And there was people saying, oh, Canadian Angie knows my address. And he turned around and he said, why would you be stupid enough to give anybody your address and your personal details on the internet? While he's sitting there going, Sugar Bliss, get the address, Sugar Bliss. Get the address to send the sweeties to Sugar Bliss. So basically what he's telling people not to do, he's let you do it himself by saying to message Sugar Bliss the address. So he said, uh, if anyone sends an address online, they're stupid. To strangers and you keep sending sugar bliss your address for these bloody sweeties so you know what i mean the lgbtq all right no worries i'm gonna yeah i'm stopping it yes we'll have to take it we're gonna have to take it so they seized the phone as well then the crew mentioned that the canadian and juan like you know oh no it's misread 
Thank you, Kira. Can we pin Kira, please? Thank you for the fireworks. Anybody who sends a fireworks or a gift like this? Emma, thank you for the epic GGs. Can we pin Emma as well? If you can comment when you've made the, the and just write what it was that you gave me the moderator's opinion. Thank you so much, my darling gloves. Piss off, it's your fault. Um, we bond Canadian Angie around these ways, you know what I mean? I got no sympathy for I noticed Miss Red's got like um, a McDonald's M in her hair. You know, like, um, you can't notice when it's down, but when she puts her head down on these, this footage, you can see, like, it's like this hair, like, in the middle, and then it, it must go back. Laura, uh, you know, she sits, sat in a box and had other people in boxes and just being one of the most spoilest rooms on TikTok, just going after people, really, and... I don't know, wanting to find information about people and, and stuff like that. You Thank know what? you I so much, Donna. Was if you're going out finding information about people, if it was like a predator, like that Mark, you know, that guy that says all them sick things. Like, yeah, Mark Feely, who is Leanne Feely's nephew. So we all know Leanne Feely is Chelsea Lee Art. Mark Feely is, in fact, her nephew. You know, that, that little blonde one with the glasses who's the predator one people that you know are predators or are doing sick things but just because you don't like somebody's actions on TikTok or you don't like yeah. somebody find out who you know wanting to find out who they are what the name is where they live like to me that's weird behavior you know pay, wanting to pay people to investigate this person that person it's taking it too far so I've got no sympathy you know, if you want to have your room and have it as vile and... Exactly, he said, nobody knows who I am and stuff, and people took it as a challenge. That's all right, Michelle. Is he here? <gasps> Karma Kaz and Zach the Brack's first interaction ever. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Emma. Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Oh my oh god, my he hasn't got his glasses on. I'm scared. <laughs> Why are you not on live studio? He got suspended last night. And what for? Uh, we produce content. Well, I Have you appealed it? I've appealed it and I've spoke to agency. I love his impression yeah, of, of Pew the Judge. I get it all the time. Make sure your, make sure your um, box is smaller than your camera box. Even just a minor thin line. Uh, see, so I can't really see the play bar or anything. Yeah, so if you're... Because I, I cut mine off and I leave a bit of the website on. I cut so mine off too. like I'm taking off content. And But my this the camera box has got to be bigger than the actual box you're showing. Uh, okay, Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies, can you put your knickers back on, please? Someone said we look alike. Hmm? <laughs> we couldn't really look any more different if we tried. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah. You look like a quaint English gentleman, and I just look like I'm going to rob your nan. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Zach looks hey, dangerous. What's, what's happened with CLA? I know she's been arrested, but what's, what's your call on it? Do you know what it is for me? I'm a little bit soft when it comes to CLA because she's obviously got loads of issues, isn't she? Yeah. And I, she's she's been in she's been in the care system. She's been through the system, right? So that's where I empathise with her because I've been there myself. I said earlier on, I was in Lisa Sacconi's lab, and I said, I don't think Chelsea Liott is actually homophobic or racist or any of those things. I think the problem is when she says these things... Like, she's influencing her younger people because we've seen what her demographics like when she's out on roads, as she likes to call it, and you see all the kids running over. So when she's saying the N-words as a white woman and she's homophobically attacking and transphobically abusing, there could be someone in these kids' schools who watch her who and then go and bully the kids who is a bit different in the school and call them horrendous names and stuff like that. So it's what she's putting out to everybody. But do I think she's deeply rooted this big, bigger, so this, that, and the other? No, I think she's just a, a really odd, unusual type of person. But, um, yeah, she can't be putting that out there, so I think she does deserve to get into trouble. Um, and hopefully it stops her doing it again. Thank you so much, Gracie. Self, and I said it to everyone, I said, do you know what it is? 
I said, are you honestly shocked with the stuff that she says after her being on the app for three years? No, you're not. It's that pack, isn't it? You know, where it's, I said, it's almost like a trend to be offended on the app now. Yeah. You know, because everyone's going along with it and everyone follows it for an easy life. But I said, you've obviously got a woman with totally complex issues, but one minute they say she's not bipolar. But when she says she is, no one will believe her. The moment she says she's not, that's when they believe her. So it's like, Mm. you pick and choose when you want to believe her because it's what you want to hear and then you get people big up Shayana thank you darling for the 10 subs big up everyone show love to Shayana see the thing is like CLA is not doing it like other creators do you know like they'll say something spicy here and there just to like ruffle a few feathers like a little bit out there like I will do for instance but I will never go on a tirade of uh, a rant in that way, you know what I mean? Like I'll say, like a flyaway comment, or just drop the, drop a little bomb on you every now and again. But um, she goes on big tirades of abuse about actual people. Thank you, Sarah Jane. About actual people. So yeah, she she affects people. I think a lot more than I ever could, which is crazy to think. But I think that's the facts. Because I don't really say anything really that bad these days. Back when I did me evil queen act and I had to like keep thinking of things to say that were outrageous But that was doing it on purpose But like doing it and then coming on and saying oh I blacked out bipolar blacked out and Thank you Lexi Unicorn, can we pin Lexi Unicorn? So I think there's a world of difference between like me and her because I see some people going oh evil queen next and all that I don't necessarily really offend that many people You might think <laughs> you do but do I really you know what I mean? I get away with a lot of things that I say. That's how inoffensive I actually am. Because if people were that outraged and offended, but I think people just accept it when it comes to me and it's just like, oh, she's saying it on purpose or whatever. Like, I think you always know me intentions. Thank you, Steve. So it's not like I'm drunk and then slurring you out and saying things about the, the G community and all this type of stuff. So yeah, I think the difference is with me, I'm never really like deep in it. She really like, she goes in hard and really like, because the thing she said about me as tough skin as I've got, you know, the fact that I've, I've known her and when she's saying like derogatory things about my gender and then making all types of lies up and that, like it is quite offensive sometimes and even I've been offended. So I know people do get offended by me, but you know, and as a whole, I don't really like feature much on the FYP. Look at, look at yesterday where I was saying about Hayley Comets and all that, like, it wasn't discussed or nothing. So, you know, everyone knows my game, but with her, she's serious. So, like, I'm always only messing and playing games and winding everyone up. Whereas she says these things, like, when she's drunk, when she's angry. Please. Please. That's why it's called malicious communications, because nothing I'm doing is malicious. Like, I won't target the same person over and over again and stuff like that. <laughs> Go follow Karma Kaz if you're not as well. But, um,. And then you get people that the mental health warriors like look at Yeah, she says it with venom, do you know what I mean? She doesn't say it to be outrageous or to ruffle feathers. She aims it towards certain individuals. Me, for example, I said something about Lucy's music. Oh, apparently she had a nervy bee for a week and everyone's like, What about her mental health? If you and do send the fire by the way, you get pinned and, and everyone can follow you who's watching. There's two point nine thousand people potentially who will follow you. About mental health and that. I can't guarantee then, that many like but they you get a few anyway. They're going for people like say like Marcus Hems who's done what she's done on live. See like, it just seems to be a thing. Rather embrace the positive size. When it gets negative, they all they they love it. They like do you want me to tell you is this, this, why people are more offended by CLA than they, have, than they are about M's and stuff? M's takes breaks, other creators. Thank you, Megan McAlpine. Can we pin Megan McAlpine, please? Uh, people take breaks and then they just settle. CLA's live 24 hours a day and everything she's doing, sometimes for two days straight. So nobody's ever getting a break from thinking about her and being angry about the things she says. So people hold her to account a lot more because, like, us create us other creators we only come on at certain times or you know what i mean so people aren't really like thinking about us for the whole day where she's in the face all day long so i think that's why people like are more offended by her because she's like she's there all the time so people are, like maybe connect to her a bit more than they, than they do to us like people are not really outraged that many of the things that i say but i think with her people look at her as, as like an auntie a mum they never had you know what i mean 
like some type of comfort you know they've been through domestic violence themselves they relate to her in some degree because of other kids and everything so she, that's why her demographic is a lot of women but she also has all the kids on there as well because we've seen them all on the streets screaming about her and stuff Chelsea was a judge on a show for us that we did together before I broke free from thank you Kath Kyle can we pin Kath Kyle as well thank you so much Kath Kyle you know and then <laughs> the we don't, everyone loved her and then the moment she has a bad time everyone will be against it but like it's like you know when your mates stay with you for your best moments and not your worst sort of yeah, like that I, I, I think a, a lot of what she said was wasn't right she shouldn't have said it online but to, no it wasn't like a full stop after that but i, I get where you're coming from where it's like mm. this, the history and stuff like that. Like that's that's not saying that I I I think what she said's terrible, you know. I I do, but again, I see the bigger picture because I'm like I remember when I was like borderline alcoholic and I was struggling at rock bottom. Like I would, I you don't. She's not physical. She's not not well. She was once to Modine, but that's different, you know. But she was. She's not genuinely physical to generally physical to the public. She's just verbal and she's not hurting anyone but herself. You know, she is that self-destruct button. Something's gone on with her and Modine for her to cycle down like this. I think, I think so. so. Yeah, hundred percent. Thank you so much, Leah. Pin yourself, Leah. I agree. I was thinking today. Always after Modine's been around, she gets on the ale, doesn't she? It's like it's like every time Modine comes around, she goes into self-destruct the day after. So I, I thought that as well. I was thinking it's always around when Modine's been around and messed with her mind and stuff. And like she said, he was eating a buns there and kissing her on the lips. Like she's going to be fucked up about that. So she's gone out drinking. But it's no excuse. But like she, a lot of the stuff always happens off the back of a visit with Modine. Have you noticed? Mm. You think it's a hotel? Not even the latest she stuff, the past the stuff as well. I just think he fucks with her head. He plays 100% that they've booyakered. 100%. She's even said it herself. No, I don't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe they've done that. Like, <laughs> I don't believe they've fully done it. Do you know it. what I mean? Did you see where he was sniffing the, the, the chair? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Insane. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> that just comes up to my, to my memory then when <laughs> Thank you, Sir yeah, Simon. Thank you, Simon. It was an inhale. Yeah, he like funny. that was Enjoy dinner that. for him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but literally it was um, what was it? She's had that. You think about it. She's had this weekend. She's had this. She loves him, and you can see it. She adores him for some stupid reason. But she's had this weekend in a hotel with him that he's probably put it on her thick, told her she's this that he loves her, all that. So she's feeling she's on a high, isn't she? She's yeah, on a massive so high. Like Back to, Back to reality, reality sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, and then he ignores her. He doesn't speak yeah. to her. Yeah, that's pretty... Mm. Yeah, and especially fun. with stuff that she's gone through in her past, you know, like her childhood and all of that. You can't... You can't yeah. sort of... What's the trick of her? Is it, is it like and go away. Mm. <laughs> that's yeah. it. But then, obviously, people... I've, I've had a bit of hate. If I was like, you're defending her. You're I'm, not, I'm not defending her. I just understand. Yeah, you just know. find the reasons why she would do it, sort of thing. Mm. And then you get the pick. Wow, Emma, thank you so much, Emma, for the perfect beats. Oh, yes, love. Hello, 2.9 thousand people. Send a daily heart me and follow me. Thank you so much, Emma. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, love. Emma, make sure to be pinned. Make sure to pin Emma. Type in the chat, Emma. Thank you. That was amazing. Oh, yes, love, I'll have all the lovely cash. Give it here, Nam. Thank you so much, Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma. I loved it. That was fabulous. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sticking up for CLA when I say I don't believe she's racist or homophobic in re true reality. I don't believe that, but I think she needs to be stopped like and stop saying those things you know what I mean because it is hugely offensive they're not just throwaway remarks it's it's prolonged rants and tirades of abuse on the same subject and it the the, the outrages the speeches that have been coming out of her mouth so I think I, I hope she gets like I hope she gets in enough trouble to stop abusing the minorities that's what I hope people that are like because it was just i was watching her on the, at the pub and i was like this is gonna end terribly we've been here before 
you know. But everyone's everyone's been here before, but they're still just as outraged. I'm like, oh god, it's the same script. It's boring. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It does seem to be like a trending thing to cancel people at the minute. Oh, it's not even cancelling people. It's just having an opinion. There's such negative nancies on it. Yeah. You know, like even even like when you came along. Do you think she'll be back on the app? I can't see her having any. I know the. I, I was speaking to Jack earlier, and he said, "Well, Ed Matthews got bail conditions that he couldn't stream in public." I think that's more to prevent him from doing the pedo hunting because then, like, he can stream in his own house and stuff. So Chelsea streams majority in her own house. And because it is a business and it's a work, then even if you got arrested for something, you would it wouldn't affect your work job unless it was something serious enough. So she'd still be able to go to work. So I think with it being a work and if she's got a solicitor, she I don't think she'll have a media ban. Maybe streaming in public, the like same as Ed, but in her own home. Maybe I think because there's got to be a lot of a lot of complaints coming in from a lot of different people. Can you imagine the businesses she's affected? The outrageous outbursts in all different shops, homophobic rants, racist rants, religious rants, um, transphobic rants. So I don't think the I don't I don't think she'll have a social media ban, but I think she she may have some conditions. I'm not too sure what them, but maybe not to stream out in public because she just gets herself into a lot of lot more trouble when she's out and about, doesn't she? They took her phones, me, yeah, I seen one. Thank you, Lexi Unicorn. Hopefully they get them all. And fucking hell. <laughs> like everyone's all up in arms. I'm like, we're all the fucking same. We're all here for the same thing, or we're just either trying to spread a message, make content, have a laugh, you know? Yeah, but the police can't make you lose your job to the people saying, but if it was a job, then she'd lose her job. Yeah, but the police can't make it down to your employer, so then TikTok would have to be notified that she's been arrested, etc., etc. And then it's up to TikTok to sack her and to not feature her on the website anymore or the app. It's not up to the police. The police can't say you're not allowed to go live because your job's been taken away from you. It's up to the employers who would be TikTok, not the police. I mean, everyone's a hypocrite to some point. It's like if if I fell out of EQ and then did an expose on EQ a week later, everyone would love it. Mm-hmm. And I, because I'm not saying it's just now that people want me to say, then it's like. I don't know. It's who your friends are, isn't it? If you're friends with someone. Oh, me, us three, us three are like yeah. fucking the witches of Eastwick. We're like hocus pocus. We're f- <laughs> you find if you fell out with EQ, everyone, everyone would jump up and be like, "Oh, Zach, what, what's happened? Tell us this, tell us that." And the next thing it'd be everyone's doing exposures on the old snippets of information you've said. On- yeah, but no one can really do exposes on me because, like, I'm never going anywhere. I'm never, I'm too hard faced. I wouldn't care what people try to expose. I've never done anything that's going to. I know comfortably within myself, I have never done anything which is serious enough to warrant me not coming on to the TikTok app or any other app, you know what I mean? So I know that in myself that there's not a single thing. So. Even if the, if the people did exposures on me, there's nothing to expose anyway because I don't say anything I wouldn't repeat publicly. And, um, yeah, I, I'm still everlasting and nothing had change. Big up, Becky. Yeah, it is. So like, it's, it's better not- to be my friend than not my friend, do you know what I mean? Because I'm still always going to be here. It's like with me when I've done my whole thing, like, because what was it? I just wanted... To- to get, well, you know, like when I fell out with the Valtori, I just wanted to say my side because you know how it is behind the scenes. I was like, fuck this. Like, yeah. this is weird. You're all fucking weird, like, the way you act. <laughs> like, this ain't for me. When you, like, when you start to, to understand, understand how it works a bit, obviously you've been on it for ages, so you understand mm. the, the back of it. But I've, I've only recently started. I'm here to look well better tomorrow. I'm going to uh, kill it all later on when I finish the live. I'm going to kill it. And then um, wash it all lovely, it's greasy. But to understand how it works and once you understand it, when there's money involved and friends benefit other friends and if there's fallout somewhere or someone takes someone's time slot. It's or- always more beneficial to be my friend as well because when it comes to shit hitting the fan then I have the person's back, you know what I mean? So, whereas if the person's not my friend, I will be the biggest one to stick the boot in, do you know what I mean? So my, my friendship comes with a lot of benefits to be honest. Mm. I know what I bring to the table in a friendship. Loyalty. 
Do you know what? When you're in the thick of it, it's so annoying and so. And all I expect is that to be returned. Yes. Yeah. Petty because I always feel like if you're either jealous of someone or you find someone a threat, then are you good enough or better yourself? Like I only compete with myself. Do you know, I could have had a nervous breakdown when you fired up an FYP show because I'm like. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I don't care because um, we've everyone's got something different to offer, but they don't think it, it's a popularity contest. You yeah. know, and I, when I first came... Cleo's on... mum, I love these. What are these new gifts, really? Yes, thank you so much, Cleo's mum. Can we pin Cleo's mum? Anyone who sends a flashy gift gets pinned and then you've got the opportunity for 2.89 thousand people to give you a follow. Even if you get 30 or 40 follows, you know what I mean? It's all good. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Cleo's mum. I love that. I love these little new kitty gifts. So, oh like, God, so give them here guys. now. Like, happy go, like, hi, guys. Yeah, like, duck the screen. We love you. This was before the gifting stuff come around. And then um, it was just, I was like, yeah, if you need anything, in give box, them the here. House, the people pleaser. Oh, I hate the like, way my shoulder hurts sitting in this position. Because no one's ever happy. You start being more authentic. You know, people, you, people you're trying to please. Give me the money. To do one wrong thing, and then those people are turning on you. Turn on you like a flash. You yeah. know, hundred percent. And it's like, like with me now, I just, I just say what I gen. Pick up, big up, Becky. I just say what I genuinely feel now because I'd rather be surrounded by. Thank you, everyone, for the Cleo's mum. Thank you, Cleo's mum. Understand, you know. Oh, Kaylee. Like-minded like people, not a bunch. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Kaylee, can we pin Kaylee as well? Thank you, Kaylee. Anyone sending me a lovely, lovely gift will get pinned. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Bunch of people that are good. It's like selling your soul, essentially. If you're going to act a certain way, knowing you're going to get thousands of pounds in gifts, but you there's a catch. Yeah, 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 you know. Thank you, so Emma. Emma, thank you so much, babes. Can we pin Emma as well? Make sure you comment in the chat. So we need Cleo's mum and Emma. Hang on, was there someone else as well? Let me see. Oh, Kaylee as well. We need to pin Kaylee as well. Thank you. Uh, keep my penny gifts. And Don't forget to well daily heart me as well if you get a badge by your name. And it, subscribe, £3 it, a month. That's going into my bigger plan. I love you too, you know, Kaylee. I want to do my podcast. I want to have my little media empire. It's investing in that. I'm like crowdfunded, like a busker okay. singing. Yeah, you know? A singing yeah. busker. But you get... I was thinking when Zach said that. He said about um, that he's, this money is going to be invested into like future endeavours and all that. But he used some for the gastric sleeve or whatever he got. People that um, <laughs> will sell their soul, essentially, and they'll have... A so I suppose you could say it's image-based, isn't it? Because maybe he wants to be a certain type of image. All these big gifts, but uh, what, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't I love speak Zach, to any of my gifters off the app. Mm. I was free. Go, go away. Think well, of even better. Gifters. That's not my mentality. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know who can do what in it, but there's creators that are like, right, you do this and this, this. Like, they see badges. It's, but... just, it's people have different ways of showing appreciation. Oh, These little get a love to shop voucher and told to piss off. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it's behind the scenes. It's like, you know, essentially you've got like... I want to do like a Frenemies podcast. I think that'd be great. Me and Zach could do that. With like Luke the Judge and uh, your impression of him, I fucking died. <laughs> died. I don't I've think he likes it. it. I think he's turned on me a little bit. I've seen some some stuff he's been Wouldn't it be good? It's not great. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. It's... Like there's nobody else I could really do it with that would have as much pop as me. Is it not your biggest fat? Oh, fuck him. It's all advertising. I thought it was getting on a little bit for a second, and then it just... No. But I want, I want it monetized, so I want to know where I'm, where I'm getting my money. Thank you so much, Think Pink. I'd need to know where I'm getting my money from. Thank you, Heli3000, 300. I'd need all that information first, because obviously I won't do nothing for now. I, I, I don't do out for now. I don't even think you could. He can't, he can't get you under his thumb. So I need money. You know, it's one of those ones. But when it's like with that with that particular group, their their audience is recycled. You know, yeah, exactly. it's like a different weekly payday. It's like right. You... Well, not even cash first. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I, after the first episode. Thank you so much, Laura Dora. Um, I would. I obviously wouldn't want paying before the first episodes went out, but I'd want to know where we were going to get an income from for it. You know what I mean? 
this way you Because it would be as big as Frenemies, but in the UK, I think. Thank you so much, Liz Smith. I think it would be. Posting it, and then it's all it's Thank all you, like Emma. round like that, and it's. Can we like, pin Liz Smith it's and Laura Dora, please? Recyclement at all, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's like, oh, you thank someone for a gift, and it's like, oh, chill out, mate. It was fucking, it was a fiver. Make sure to follow me if you're not already, everybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's the mentality. If people, if you're doing, if you're on here doing right, it for I'm the money, I'm skipping this now. Look, I told you. Sad snow. So Side Snack accidentally outed himself on live. Not gonna lie. I told you yesterday, didn't I? I'm glad. I did say from the beginning I didn't care. Thank you, FYPT. Pin FYPT. It was Thank a good you. stick. But don't go live with a filter. It's never gonna stay on properly. So da 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 da. Well, man. Sorry, mate. I don't personally know who you are. Um, and now it's you, Side the Snack. It's gone. It was good while it lasted. Man, why did He's you go nobody. live? He's nobody. Told you. You had such a good thing going. I was always risky going live. Would I? I got it wrong about his age. I thought he was younger because of the filter, but um, yeah, he's nobody. I have loved it to have been somebody. I'm not he's a gamer. That's all he is. Yeah, let me show you. He's just a gamer. Hang on, hopefully I've got it. I think I did favourite it earlier on. Oh, I've got the name of it though, because I searched his name, so I know the name. Okay, let me refresh. Because I've still got the video open. What? what? This is a birthday present from Beth. It says, Happy birthday to you. I hope your Udi keeps you snug as a bug in a rug. You are a ray of sunshine. You never fail to put a smile on my face like, from Beth. Who the fuck is You want to open it? Yeah, who's it from? Beth. Who's he? <laughs> she, Beth. Who's she? Your friend. Uh, 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 well, not like a close friend. <laughs> well, not, not close to her. I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> right, which, do you want to open it? Yeah, you can open it. Right. She have a clue. Something to keep you nice and warm. Oh, they bloody, bloody vacuum packed it. You hold this, look and I'll pull it out, look. You hold that. Hold what? This bit. That's it, and I'll pull. Pull! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I love... I <laughs> Bloody hell, it's look packed. Hang on. I can't bloody open it, Nan. Okay. I can't bloody open it. <laughs> Ugh. Right, I finally got it open. Feel it. A new bed jacket for you. Wow, look at that. For me? For you. <laughs> but you opened it with yours. No, I opened it for you because it was hard. Oh. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> nice and long to go over your knees. That's just the label. I'll take that off for you. Okay. But look at that. What do you think? It's lovely. Do you want to say thank you to Beth? Say thank you to Beth. <laughs> Here, look. On the phone. <laughs> Where's, where's the phone? In my hand. This. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just send a message. I'll send it to Beth. Thank you very much, Beth. Wait there, what'd you say? 
Eh? What was that last bit? I said, you're a treasure. You got more gifts from other friends. <laughs> we'll open one a day. Well, you want to open them all now? Yeah. All right. Well, Nan, yeah. what do you think about this bed jacket? Do you like it? Not much. <laughs> oh, you don't? <laughs> you don't like it now? Uh, no? Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> it was bought for you. It's nice and long, covers your knees. <laughs> oh, no. Let me sort the pillow. There we are, sorted the duvet. So is it, do you like it? Nan, do you like it? Is it keeping you nice and warm? No, it's bloody horrible. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's horrible, she said. This, Nan, is... Oh, no. She likes it for half a second. That is hilarious. Can't wait to see her open more presents. That's going to be amazing. You know she's got mental health issues. Like, it's, I look at her and I see, like, Jean Slater with a cross between Laurel from Emmerdale and... Do you know what I mean? Hurt people hurt people, unfortunately, Teacup. That's just how it is, you know? But the thing is, a lot of people saying it's, it's no... But again, if there was a person that had schizophrenia or some personality change in mental health illness and they'd done something in public and you found out they were diagnosed with this you take it more with a pinch of salt i'm not using it as an excuse but you can't it's so hard to tell people you can't understand unless you've been through it or around people that have had it you know That's there's more surprise. of a bigger picture I mean, there's more of a bigger picture to it do i care not really many of us that have made smart decisions i've had an issue with drugs and alcohol ggs oh my god it's your name ggs no way it's your name thank you so much ggs thank you chris deacon ggs they give you your own gift no way that's sick thank you so much ggs oh, can we before. pin ggs do you know Ever what i mean I've, I, once i start drinking i can't stop and you're chasing a good time when you're hurt which clearly Modine's fucked her up again. When you're hurt, Bye. give it here now. You'll continue to. She's not hurting anybody. She's not hurting anybody. She's not being violent. Her mouth. She's doing what I used to do, right? She's doing what I used to do. I used to be fucking vicious when Thank I was down with spirals. Thank you so much, The worst thing is just to piss people off and push them away. People who are what's the threatening violence and doing it is two completely different Angel, things. I want to knock you. Alex Brigham out. Do you know what I mean? Does that make me a terrible person? <laughs> If she was compass mentis and a person like myself, then oh, I totally GGs, understand. Everyone. You know, I would totally understand. But are people turning this app off and crying over CLA? No. No. We'll turn this app on, that's when they're affected. They turn it off, like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe how offended, how offended she was. I'm so offended by what she said. App's off. Oh, do you want dinner? No, no, no. Oh, should we go pub tonight? Do you know what I mean? It's like that. I just see a bigger picture. Last all respect for Zach. Bon Zach. Get your pitchforks out, everyone. I just understand why she is the way she is. That's it. You just have to understand it. I've been through the same, but I don't act the same way. But you're not the same as Chelsea, are you? It's ex why do you say that you don't like Zach no more? Because if this is his opinion, he's allowed it. And it's not hit. And yeah, it doesn't change him as a person. It's just he believes a certain way. And everybody's entitled to believe in a certain way. Like... If you don't like him no more, you looks like you're trying to control him. And like he should be allowed to speak his mind. Exactly the same as me, saying, Well, I got sectioned, I was alright when I come out. You know? We we're all programmed differently. Congratulations to you lot that have got through it and have not got a scratch on you. Well done. Proud of you. Aren't you amazing fucking pillars of society? Well done. People go on about mental health on this app, but mental health means fuck all on this app. Mental health means nothing with that because you've got people that are dissecting clearly a woman that's got she's she isn't normal she's like what is normal anyway but she isn't programmed correctly you know so but here we have people dissecting and coming at her and stuff like that and you know she hasn't got anyone around her that can guide her like I had because this time two years ago I was in a mess I got sectioned I tried to want to live myself you know I was a fucking wreck I've been there, but I ended up... GG's, thank you so much, GG's. 50% of my goal. Thank you so much, GG's. Thank you for the... Filtering out the turds, yourself, And look. now I'm surrounded by amazing people, and it's just going great, you know?
but people were so quick to be like, ha ha ha, rather than understand the mental health side of it. She'll say to everyone she's bipolar. People will be like, she's not. No, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You know? And then she'll say she's not bipolar. I get why people get upset because it's not nice to be on the receiving end of when Chelsea's on one of our rants because it, everything she does gets screen recorded. Like with me, I'll say something, it doesn't always get screen recorded. So, you know what I mean? It just stays within like one room. But with Chelsea, when she says something or she goes on those type of rants, they always go on the FYP. And if you're the person intended behind it via rant, like I was with the back door basher stuff, that was all to do with me. Because uh, I'd, when I'd left her ears and she started ranting, and then obviously, like, I started cussing her then. And then she started on about the back door bashing, stay far away from her sister, this, that, and the other. So, um, yeah, I forget, don't know if I was like, I forget my point. I told you she's not, and I'll believe that as gospel. Because I see a hurt person. And she said some terrible things to me. She's been homophobic towards me. I truly believe if I could go and be like, look, things ain't that bad. Do things this way. I would help. Yeah, I put a police complaint in and uh, they, they, they would text me, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, saying um, um, unless you um, like obviously come in contact with us, uh, we can't go any further, blah, blah, blah. So I never got back to them, to be honest. I couldn't be bothered. Hello, Karma Kaz. So no, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's everybody's complaint, so because the public can, can complain as well. You don't have to be the receiver to complain. When I I always go back to the story when I was like, like brand new on social media, fifteen years ago, or whatever. When before live streaming and everything, it was just a case of probably sixteen years or more now. Yeah, about sixteen years probably. And um, I posted a video and somebody wrote uh, when the. Cut the Adam's apple out, they should have slit your throat. That's what they said in the comments. And somebody who witnessed the comment, <clears throat> screenshot it and everything, put a complaint into the police, and it got acted upon because of it, the, the viewers, you know what I mean? So I think a lot of viewers have complained. Uh, I know there's a lady in my Discord who had the police out, and she's got a card saying so and everything from when it happened, like the backdoor basher stuff. So I think it's just a whole host of comments. And then, do you know when the police get all these videos and all these complaints about the same person? Then they're going to be like, what's going on here? So I think they built an investigation up because normally you get arrested for one thing. She was arrested for stuff between February and July. So she's been monitored by the police. She's been monitored. <clears throat> if it stems back that long, all the way to now, it's not like it's one incident, you know what I mean? Normally they say we're arresting you on suspicion of uh, miscommunications, do racism or whatever. One thing, it'll be about what the one thing. But this was everything from months. Thank you so much, GGs, to me. Thank you, beautiful. So I think she's been part of an investigation by the Metropolitan Police. Thank you, GGs. As I sold the last pack, oh, chain reaction. I've just been sleeping. Thank you, Julie. I've just gone live as well. Hi. Sorry, we'll have to go meet him for All right, okay. You're going okay. to be arrested, Leon. For what? For malicious communications, yeah? Because between uh, February and July this year, you yeah. have sent February and July. social media posts which are grossly affected. I haven't sent nothing in this. people of protected characteristics. No, this is not me. It's a fake account. And uh, LGBT. Have you seen the back of the piece of paper? It's got a mugshot of CLA on. Look. <laughs> Look, it's a mugshot of CLA. With the blonde hair, them. It's funny. I haven't sent not to people this. of protected characteristics. No, this is not me. It's a fake account. And uh, LGBTQ. So no, I'm not saying nothing about the LGBTQ. All right, no worries. Hello. 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 Somebody had joined to do some Angie's box and come into the box and showed the picture of a, of a PP, and then they laughed about it and stuff. Initially, Angie said, "Oh, this is a kid's blah, blah, but then they laughed about it. So that means now, and Miss Reb was condoning it too. They were all thank you, Karma Cas, for subscribing. They're all condoning it, laughing this morning. 
There's one for you, Karma Kaz. Somebody joined the Lucifer Angie's box and they showed a picture of a PP and then initially she was outraged and then they all started laughing and then they, they planned it so that the person went into Pearl's box and did it to Pearl as well. And Miss Red and everyone else were laughing about it today. Saying it was it was fun, it was funny. But once you take the t once you take the fact that it's a kid's app away, she said basically. Um, then you know what I mean. It, it is quite funny. Well, that means there's no more boundaries. Then Miss Red has said there's no more boundaries on this app because that is the worst thing you could possibly do is put your erect, you know what, onto the screen or whatever, whether it be a photograph or whatever. So now it means that there's no boundaries, and it doesn't matter what sobriety Jack's done or what anybody does. I, I could flash flash right now, and nobody could say anything because it was funny last night and condoned in Miss Red's live this morning. So, big up Emma was her name, the girl Emma who came into the box, or Laura, what was her name? Because she was the only one speaking sense, you know what I mean? So yeah, so now that there is no boundaries, so anyone can basically do whatever they want. I show whatever body parts, because Miss Red said it's all right now. Laura, yeah, big up Laura. So now Miss Red and that have laughed about it, Miss J, they've all laughed about it, somebody exposing themselves on the app, so, if anyone does it in the future, remember this day that Miss Red can't talk about it in a, in a way of, um, oh, isn't it awful because she laughed about it this morning? So now forevermore, anybody who exposed himself, nothing can be said because it's been accepted. What's going on? What was the clip for? Suicide snap. Don't forget about the hot tub. Oh, I know, love. It's acceptable now for everyone, though. Anybody who ever wants to uh, do anything like that, it's now it's now acceptable. You know what I mean? It's now acceptable. Um, I haven't got anything else for you today, love, because we're on a little bit of a pause now until we see the uh, update about CLA, possibly tomorrow. Um, if you're not already following me, make sure to follow me. I shall be back tomorrow, my loves. Karma Kaz, I think he'll probably be going live. Maybe with me coming off early, he'll start his live earlier, because it's only 9 o'clock for you, and he doesn't normally come on until half 10. So are you going to start a live now, Karma Kaz? I'm crying, you're going off. Oh, that's all that really happened over the last 24 hours. There is nothing else. Side snark and CLA, that's it. Is Jack coming out to meet you? Yes, he's on his way. So I'm not bothered about ends and ends of an hour earlier, you know what I mean? Because uh, I want to get a nice bath and everything, you know what I mean? Oh, that's why. Liars, love you all. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me a gift, a subscription, a double tap, a daily heart me. If you want to give a daily heart me, do it now before I go off because you won't be able to do today's later on or anything. Yeah, I'm going to have a nice hot bath, wash my hair and everything. I'll have to, like, I'll have to, like, obviously, I'll bath, but then I'll wash my hair under the shower because obviously I need clean water and not bath water. I will have a good day. I hope you have a good rest of your night. And I will see you tomorrow. Liars, get out of here. Hopefully I can end the live today. It wouldn't let me end it yesterday, would it? Fingers crossed. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.